Kansas City Zoo, our California Sea Lion Exhibit, and Sea Lion Splash. My name is Jordan, I'll be your host today as we watch a natural behavior training session put on by our two California Zoo right now. That is Delilah. So everyone can say hi to Delilah. I bet she'll wave right back. There we go. And across the pool for me, give it a little dance. That is Sunshine. So everyone can say hi to Sunshine. Our trainers today are Ann and Ashley. California sea lions can be found in the Pacific Ocean. From Mexico all the way up to British Columbia, Canada. In fact, Sunshine and Delilah, they were actually rescued off the Northern California coast by the Marine Mammal Center in June 2010. So they are almost three and a half years old and we have been raising steps ever since the day. Now, raising sea lion pups is a lot of work. The first thing we had to do was teach them how to drink a special fish formula from a baby bottle. It was very adorable. We even had to teach them how to swim. Here comes a big splash. They'll try that again. After a few months, they were old enough and big enough to start swimming on their own and eating their favorite food and fish. Here comes the big splash. There we go. One of the things we are teaching them now, as you just saw, is how to learn new behaviors. As you can see, they're doing a great job. They're learning more and more every single day. Now, there is another marine mammal that lives in the same Uba land. Sea lions move on all fours, rotating those back flippers forward, just like that. But seals, they move a little bit differently. Seals and worm. Sunshine and Delilah have a pretty good seal impression. The last difference between the two that we will talk about today is how they move through the water. Sea lions have very strong front flippers. You can see they use those front flippers to propel breath for 10 minutes. They can dive 900 feet into the water. They can reach maximum speeds of 25 miles per hour. Porpoisine is taking a series of small jumps in and out of the water. Not only does this help them with speed, it also helps them break up the eyesight of predators that would try to go after them. There are two main predators of a sea lion. One of them is killer whales. And let's see if you can guess the other one. Any guesses? Sunshine's giving you a clue. Yeah, it looks like we've got to show our trainers to look over their flippers. Looks like Sunshine's getting a little back checkup right now. They can roll over, show their stomachs. They can open their mouths for a little dental checkup. Just to make sure that every day they're nice and healthy. drops, to injections, blood draws, and even radiographs. So, you can do figures like this. So here at the Kansas City Zoo, we use a method of training called positive reinforcement. You can see positive muscle reinforcement on display right now. Our trainers will advance intelligent animals. So another reason we train is to keep them mentally stimulated to give them something new to do every single day. A train is also important for conservation. You don't have to be a zookeeper to participate in conservation. Sorry now. And another way we can help the re-environment is with our fish consumption. There are certain types of fish that are taken from the wild using harmful techniques that can end up hurting other marine life, like our sea lions or our new friends of penguins, or any other marine life, human, and turtles, sharks, dolphins. Other fish are becoming extinct due to overfishing. And over here on the piece of Seafood Watch also has a great free app that you can download on your smartphone. 
but it looks like Sunshine and Delilah, they're going to continue training for another couple of minutes. Each of us are ready to make our splash possible each and every day. I want to look at the truck and the zoom on this gorgeous day every day. Have a great rest of your visit.